This week, Supreme is collaborating with True Religion Jeans. Hey, True Religion, <laughs> 2009 called, They Want Their Jeans Back. I feel like I'm chosen, I'm covered in gold. Welcome back friends to Fauntleroy's Finest and today I'm going to take a look at the Supreme Fall Winter 21 Week 6 drop and I apologize for getting this video out so late. They just posted retails a few hours ago and they only had that partial list on Monday so it was just a handful of items and there just wasn't anything that amazing to talk about so I figure I just get it done all at once. Okay. This week Supreme is collaborating with none other than True Religion Jeans. True Religion is a company that was founded in the 2000s and they got extremely popular because they wanted to use high quality denim and they were also extremely expensive so it kind of was a little bit of a flex back in the day if you were just rocking true religion jeans. I was a big fan of true religion jeans back in the day. Not so much for me. Personally they looked better on the ladies in my opinion. I don't want to see you go but I love watching you leave. So anyways they were a pretty big deal back in the day and as fast as their rise to popularity was their fall was just as quick. They sort of just disappeared. I did look up some stuff on Wikipedia. It says that the company's gone bankrupt a few times, most recently this April. I guess they're still making jeans with Supreme, though. When I first heard this collaboration was coming, I was a little excited because I assumed we were going to get some decent jeans out of this. But what does Supreme and True Religion do when they have this opportunity to bless us with some amazing denim products? They give us cargo pants. Oh, God! That's right, they decided to make denim cargo pants. Who the f fuck wears denim cargo pants. Ain't nobody got time for that. If you want to play Billy's mom at the pool party, yeah, why not? Throw on some denim cargo pants. But anybody that doesn't want to get their ass kicked just for walking out of the door probably shouldn't wear denim cargo pants. Honestly, the lighter colorway isn't that awful, but probably it's only because you can't tell that it's denim. All that said, I'm not a fan of what they tried to do in this True Religion collaboration, but there are a couple of pieces that I think are okay. Don't care. All right, everyone, let's just jump right into it. Here we go, my top five items for week six. So for my number five item of the week, I'm just gonna throw both of these accessories in here. So first off, we have this Sig food jar. It seems like the price of this is really, really high at 78. I don't see a ton of resell in this, but it is a really neat item and it's a very usable item. So I'm not sure if that retail will allow for any resell down the road. $78 is a lot of money for a thermos. And then the second item here are these hex bugs. So a hex bug is a little toy. You throw a battery inside of it and it just kind of runs around on the ground. It's basically the most rudimentary little robot that you could possibly buy. These things got really popular a few years back and then they kind of just dried up. So like most things Supreme does, they're about three years behind the curve. The hex bugs might be able to make you a little bit of money if you pull them out of the pack and sold them individually. You might could sell them for like 10 bucks a piece and maybe end up with 50 bucks out of it. But again, I don't see a ton of resell in them, although they are kind of neat little items to have. Now my number four item of the week, I'm just going to go with the True Religion zip up hooded sweatshirt. If these retails are correct, that's kind of expensive for a hoodie. It says 238. I'm actually not sure if that retail is correct because True Religion hoodies actually are only around 118 retail so they technically should be cheaper than a supreme hoodie but maybe the collaboration bumps up the price personally I only really like that maroon color maybe the gray one is is all right as well either way these hoodies aren't really worth $238 and I definitely don't see them reselling for $238 but I put them on my list because I think this is the best piece from the true religion collaboration and now for my number three item I'm gonna cheat just a little bit and I'm going to go with hats. Specifically, these three hats. First off, we have this military boonie. Um, it's a little more expensive at $68 price point, but these things do tend to do well over time. Now, they have been making a lot of these in the past few seasons. I haven't seen a ton this year so far. Boonies generally do okay, but you're gonna have to hold them, and again, it's kind of a high price point for a hat, so you never really know. I do think the colorways on the boonie are good, except for the white. I'm good with any of those colorways. The next hat is this Arabic logo 5 panel. It's basically set up just like the hooded sweatshirt was. It has a Chanel applique on it. It's a five panel though, so those don't traditionally do very well on the resale market. But I do, again, like all of these colorways a lot. 
except for the red. You know I'm representing the purple yellow all day for the Lakers. And then some of those other colorways are just great as well. And then finally, this True Religion beanie. I do think the True Religion beanie is a decent one. It has really good colorways. I do like the black and the maroon. And again, it being from a collaboration, there just might not be that many of these made, at least as far as a normal beanie goes. Basically, I think all these guys are in play for any kind of free shipping mumbo jumbo you guys are all about. Okay, so my number two item is going to be this tail hooded sweatshirt. I mean, if I have to tell you that a big Supreme logo on the front of a hoodie is a good thing, I, I don't think I've been doing my job so far. I really do like the spell out on these. It gives you that old baseball vibe, like a jersey or something. And I think that they knock the colorways out of the water. The navy with the pink looks great. The pink with the gray is going to be a big one. There's that white one, kind of has like a Seattle Seahawks vibe going on. So I think all these colors are done very well. And I think in the right sizes, XLs and smalls, XXLs, if they have them, these things are going to do pretty well. And you might not have to hold these ones as long as some of the other items. Okay, now we are on to my number one item of the week. And some people are claiming this is the best item of the year. I don't think it's going to be the best item of the year because I know we have some shoes coming up that will do really well. But this Faces sweater is going to do well over time. Everybody already says this is the hot item of the week, so it's definitely going to be hard to get. This is going to be the item that botters are probably going to be going after, so I see this selling out quickly. If you have a chance to pick these up in an XL or XXL if they make them, I think it'll probably only be XLs, then you should. I think specifically the white one is the one to go after. I'm not really into the black one at all. I definitely can see this being an item that somebody famous wears on a stage somewhere, on a runway somewhere, and it gets people to notice the item. I do think this is going to be a hold. This is probably, you're going to have to throw it in the closet and forget about it, and then you look at it in a couple of years and you're like, wow, I just made $500. All that being said, I do think this is the worst week we've seen from Supreme in quite a little bit of time. <laughs> I do have a couple of honorable mentions that I want to talk about before I get out of here. First one is this Kanji zip-up baseball jersey. I just don't remember seeing a zip-up baseball jersey. I specifically like the black one with that kind of sand camo Kanji thing going on. I think that's a really good colorway. I don't think I've ever seen a zip-up from them. So this is an interesting item to me. Again, bigger size is always best. And then we also do have this John Coltrane collection. So there's a, a denim jacket and denim jeans to go along with it. I think these are really cool items. I don't see resell in them, but I think they're really cool. I do like the jacket a lot more than the pants. Not really too interested in Mr. Coltrane checking out my junk all day. I don't see a ton of resale for those. Potentially the jacket has something maybe down the line, but definitely going to be a hold. Another item I want to talk about is this Dragon Ringer tee. It is a short sleeve premium tee. It should be like in the $58 range. I'm kind of interested to see what that brown colorway looks like, but again, it does have a little box logo with a dragon on top of it, and it should be in the cheaper price points as far as premium tees go so something to look after. And then we finally have these Gons items that were supposed to come out a couple of weeks ago. I'm not a big fan of these particular graphics from Gons. I think if I was looking at anything from this, it would be the Corduroy Work shirt, but it is definitely not going to resell. All right, guys, there you have it. My thoughts on week six for you. I don't care. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do a live cop tomorrow or not. I'm really not interested in anything, so it would just literally be to make a video. That's what she said. And I could probably make a video on talking about something else, so I would recommend maybe staying away from this week. If you want to take a gamble, that sweater might be something to gamble on. Otherwise, I don't think that there's a whole lot of deals going on this week. Why are you running? If you liked this video, make sure you do so below, and if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to sub and do the notifications and all that nonsense. All right, guys, if you are going to go for anything this week, I hope that you guys get everything that your little hearts desired. So good luck, folks, and you know that I will see you next video. Bitch, you know you love these lights. Don't nobody do you yeah. like yeah. me, you know. Yeah.